Hey guys and welcome back to Battlefront updates. Last week we had this sad news that there will not be Star Wars games at EA Play Live on July 22nd this week. I talked a little bit about it uh, out on Twitter and on a community post but I wanted to discuss it more thoroughly in a video uh, what it could actually mean for the future of Star Wars games and both the optimistic and pessimistic view of it. And I've also got some information in regards to LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, a developer leaving the actual project as well as some not very good news in regards to news about the game coming this year or not. So if you're interested in the LEGO Star Wars news make sure to watch the full video but first of all Let's talk a little bit about the EA news that came out last week. You've probably seen the tweet by now uh, where EA said we won't be showing any new Star Wars games at EA Play live on July 22nd but all of us look forward to celebrating with you next year when we share our vision for the galaxy far far away. Obviously a huge letdown to a lot of us who have been patiently hoping that this could be the one time we might get some Star Wars news this year. Maybe a Fallen Order 2 or something secret that we don't know about. But unfortunately, that's not the case. I just want to make clear here that they may very well show Galaxy of Heroes or Star Wars The Old Republic at EA Play Live because they only say that they're not gonna show any new Star Wars games. So that means no Fallen Order 2, no Battlefront, not that I expected that, and no secret project either. And they do say celebrating with you next year, which obviously could mean a lot of things, but I think it is very, very likely that they are referring to Star Wars Celebration next year, uh, which takes place May 26th to 29th. So it's actually before EA Play Live, or usually EA Play Live is June or July. So this is most likely gonna be uh, when we will hear more about EA Star Wars games next year. And I think it does make more, make more sense to have a big reveal for Fallen Order 2 for instance at Star Wars Celebration because there's gonna be a lot more Star Wars fans there than at EA Play Live and they also obviously have a huge focus on their Battlefield game, Battlefield 2042 this year. So as much as it makes me very sad that we have to wait like 10 months before we'll probably hear anything about the future of EA Star Wars games. I understand why they did it. And it's basically two ways to see this. Either they're gonna have a huge like Star Wars panel next Star Wars celebration, where they might show off Fallen Order 2, a potential secret project, that small scale project that has been rumored for a while and that may or may not have something to do with all the Battlefront 2 voice actors doing more vo motion capture. We still don't know what they did that for. Uh, which I think is a little bit strange and potentially even a Battlefront game, who knows. I think it would make sense to have a big reveal for all of those things to bring up the excitement for EA Star Wars because at the moment it's quite low. Uh, the last couple of games they released like Battlefront 2's Revival, Squadrons and of course Fallen Order has had really good reception but I think we just expected more. We didn't expect them all to die out, stop support and then have nothing new to look forward to at all. Um, so that's really the biggest disappointment with this right now. But I think that was like the optimistic view. Them revealing two or three games at next year's Star Wars Celebration. But if we're going to go for the pessimistic view. Um, there might just be simply the case that they're only working on Fallen Order 2. That's the only Star Wars game EA are working on. And it's simply so far from launch that they don't have enough well footage or trailers to reveal they might just still be in planning stages or at least haven't locked down the story and don't know how they want to make a trailer for it so yeah i just think that my realistic guess of all of this is that ea are not going to talk anything more about their star wars games this year which they pretty much confirmed in the tweet and at celebration next year that's well when we'll get the news and we're gonna have one two three games being revealed there I think a bare minimum would be the next Fallen Order project, as much as that one still isn't 100% officially confirmed. I think all of EA's official hints, insiders talking about the project and people like Jason Schreier basically saying that they started working on it the second they were done with the first game means that it is coming. They just aren't ready to show it yet. But then if there's going to be anything more than Fallen Order, really, really hard to say, but I hope there's going to be more. Unfortunately, we'll have to wait probably at least 10 months. So what about other Star Wars games? Before I move on to LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, we do have one Star Wars game that I do still think will come out this year, which is Star Wars Hunters. It has nothing to do with EA or EA Play, but um, 
they have said it is going to be a beta this summer for the game, yet I haven't seen much about it at all. I mean, the summer is well, in the, like the middle of the summer right now, so again, might be yet another delayed Star Wars game. But nevertheless, I hope we're going to have some more details about this game. I know it's not going to be a AAA game, it's a mobile game that is still, on the other hand, going to the Switch. So it's going to be a little bit more than just a mobile game. But... It's not going to satisfy the same needs as a Fallen Order, Battlefront, Squadrons, or anything like that. But hopefully it can keep us occupied uh, while we wait for the other game. So I am still fairly excited to see what that game is going to turn out to be. But now over to LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, which is the next big Star Wars game that we'll probably see. And whether or not we'll get it this year is now starting to be very unclear. The first thing I wanted to bring up is the fact that Gamescom just went out and basically showed us this video of all the participants of Gamescom this year and there is no Warner Bros or no TT Games. Sure they do say and more in the end but I do think that TT Games and Warner Bros in particular would definitely be a, a, among these names if they had confirmed that they were going to be there. So that makes me think no Lego Star Wars the Skywalker Saga news at Gamescom either. So at this point, it's really hard to say if, we, if we're even going to get the game this year, because I do think that once they announce a release date, they want to have at least a couple of months of heavy marketing before they actually put out the game. So if they don't announce a release date at or before Gamescom, I'm actually going to guess that the game is going to come out next year instead. Uh, but that's just purely based on marketing speculation. And lastly, Jack Chapman, a developer on LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, announced around a week ago that he is leaving TT Games and LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga to work on something else. And that per se is nothing strange. People leave and join studios all the time, no matter if a project is delayed, cancelled, or is working just like intended, so don't read into that. However, in the responses, he does at multiple points say, thanks buddy, looking forward to playing it day one excited to play it day one so he semi confirms that yeah the game isn't cancelled and that's really what i want to take away from this i am pretty certain that if he just got to know oh we're cancelling the game so i'm gonna leave the studio and work on something else i don't think he would be out on twitter saying excited to play it day one exciting to play it day one I mean, yes, he's probably not the first person who gets to know if they can the game, but at least that makes me think that at this very given point, they are still developing the game like planned, and they are not going to cancel the game. I have never thought they're going to cancel the game, but I know a lot of you are still scared that that is going to happen, but I don't think you have to worry about that. They put too much time, effort, and even marketing into the game. They just want to know for certain that they have a fixed release date before they start talking more about the game. But that is all for the Star Wars gaming news today. If you are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button for all things Star Wars gaming. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, may the Force be with you.